What's up guys? Back with another video today. All right, so I have a very interesting topic to talk about with you guys. I had a question from one of the awesome people who subscribe to this channel. That question was, is it okay that I'm not feeling sore after my exercise using the tonal, right? On tonal. Is it okay that I'm not feeling sore and I'm tired? So I'm tired. Okay, so I'm exhausted after my exercise, but is it okay that I'm not sore? All right, let's try to get into this as simple as possible. And the reason why, guys, is because this is a very highly subjective topic, okay? DOMS, delayed onset muscle syndrome, it happens. I'm going to make this as easy as possible. It happens most often with eccentric exercises, okay? So the concentric is this, the eccentric is this. It's the elongating of the muscle, not the contracting, but the elongating of the muscle, okay? So on a bicep curl, this is the concentric, this is the eccentric. You guys hear me talk about eccentric training all the time on tonal. Tonal has an eccentric mode. Why does tonal have an eccentric mode? Eccentric training is scientifically proven beyond a doubt to be the best catalyst when you're looking to gain muscle size. Okay? A lot of people will lift a dumbbell like this and they... They go like this on the concentric and they're like, yeah, all right, build a muscle. And then they drop the weight, build it up, drop the weight. That is, for the most part, just focusing on the concentric. Why do you want to focus on the eccentric? This is the concentric, bring it up. Now you're going to bring the, the eccentric down slow. The reason why is the slower you bring it down, the more time under tension your muscle has Therefore, the more your muscle is ripping apart and the eccentric phase of an exercise, because it can handle your muscle on the eccentric movement, can naturally handle more weight than on the concentric phase. So because of that, you have more of an opportunity to lift heavier have more time under tension, and therefore rip down your muscles even better to build them back stronger and bigger. Okay, so where does the DOMS, the Delayed Onset Muscle Syndrome, come in? It mostly happens, not all the time, but it mostly happens when you're doing heavy eccentric training. So the question was, do I have to feel sore during my workouts to know that I got a good workout. Absolutely not. Concentric only training, right? Let's say I were to have a, I have my dumbbell here, I lift it, and now I hand the dumbbell to somebody else because I don't have a tonal, right? <laughs> I didn't buy a tonal yet, so I'm doing my, my concentric only training in the gym. I lift, I lift the dumbbell and then someone takes it out of my hand. Now I lift it again and then someone takes it out of my hand. Now I lift it again and I'm only doing the concentric, okay? Or if you have a tonal and you're on chains mode where you're only doing a concentric and then on the way down, it's super light, almost no eccentric, that will grow muscle. Yet you might not feel any hint of burn, any hint of pain, but it will grow muscle. Will it grow muscle as much as eccentric training? No. Okay. The pain you're feeling is a good indicator that your muscles have been ripped up very well, but you do not need it. Every human being on earth, which is why this topic is so subjective, which is why science cannot narrow down a black and white answer is because every human being on earth is independent when it comes to their pain during or after a workout, okay? Every human being is different. So I like feeling that pain because it gives me a good idea that I hit the muscles that I want to hit. 
But I'll give you an example. The other day I went real crazy heavy on my chest and I did use a very nice amount of eccentric. I didn't feel anything. The next day, the day after, I didn't feel anything. Does that mean that my muscles didn't grow? No, it does not. But something that I want to caution you with to the man who asked this question is make sure if you're training for muscle growth that you are doing your eccentric training correctly, okay? You can do eccentric training without having it on eccentric mode. It's simply bringing the weight down, okay, slower at a more controlled rate, allowing the tension to build in the muscle as you're bringing it down. You're forcing your muscle to work, okay? That is going to ensure that your training is optimal for muscle growth. So to answer your question in the simplest way possible, everyone is different. You'll never find a study that says definitively that muscle pain equals muscle growth. You'll never find that. No one's ever going to tell you that. They might lead you in that direction because, hey, both are correlated, both are somehow tied in. But no one's ever going to say that, oh yeah, if you feel really sore, that means you had a great workout. Because there's no, there's no actual proof. You can't narrow it down to such a simple black and white answer. Okay? You can have an amazing workout with tons of eccentric. And depending on you as a human being, as an individual, you might get zero burn the next day. But yet you see that your lifts are going up. You're able to lift more weight over the coming weeks. You're doing very good. Um, you see growth, physical growth, yet you have no pain. Guys, everybody's different. But again, I just want to caution you. So, so to answer your question, no, you do not need to have burn in order to show that you had a good workout. No. Is it a good indicator that you did have a good workout? Probably. I mean, I think most people have pain. But you don't need it. So... What you should be focusing on is, are your lifts going up? Are, you, are your muscles growing? Are you able to handle more weight when you come back to the bar or the tonal every time you come back to exercise, right? Um, are you progressing? Okay. Focus on the progression as a whole, not just a burn. And make sure that you use this as an opportunity to examine whether or not you are doing your eccentric movement properly. Because more than likely, more than likely you are doing eccentric training or you want to be able to focus on eccentric while you're doing your training. More than likely you don't want to do concentric only training, especially if you're looking to build physical size in your muscles, okay? So concentric only training or, or an exercise that's focused more on the concentric is going to produce much less, maybe non-existent pain. But 99, 98% of the time, eccentric training, when you are focused on that eccentric, is going to cause your muscles to rip and therefore cause you pain. Okay? So that's the simplest way I could put it. Make sure your eccentric is proper. If you're looking for those results in that particular way, and that's it. So don't worry about it. If you're tired after an exercise and you don't have any soreness the next day, does not mean because maybe you are an individual who just does not get sore. And then again, certain muscle groups get more sore than others. So guys, you can do a ton of research all day on this stuff. Science has been trying to figure this stuff out for years. They can't narrow it down. They'll never narrow it down because nobody's the same in this regard, okay? Everybody's different. It has a lot to do with your genetics, with your biology as a human being, okay? So, but focus on your eccentric training if that's what you want to do um, and make sure your eccentric is proper. Don't just be lifting that weight and then dropping it. Lifting that weight and dropping it. A lot of people think that the concentric is where the growth is. It's not. Essentially, you need 
the concentric so that you can do an eccentric because without the concentric, there is no eccentric unless you're on tonal because then you have an eccentric mode. So it's almost kind of like miraculous how you can lift nothing and then have it come down heavy. All right. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped. I hope this gave you a good answer to your question. Focus on the eccentric training, guys. Make sure that your eccentric is dialed in and you can do that very well with the tonal. You can lift almost no weight and then come down super heavy on that eccentric and that is going to help you build muscle, okay? Like double the speed, all right? I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor. I hope this helped, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon with another video. Be safe, take care, and if you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram or on YouTube. Um, again, guys, if you need a direct, like a very in-depth answer, answer, like this was a very in-depth answer, uh, hit me up on Instagram. It'll be easier for me to answer your question. I could do that in a voice message or a call rather than through a video that you might not want to wait for. Okay, guys, be safe. Talk soon. Catch you in the next video.